Hello and welcome to the show. We are here today on Forza Horizon 5 with a little multiplayer racing tournament adventure kind of things. I don't really know what to call them at the moment, but uh, we have got some uh, C class cars, rear wheel drive only uh, C class for this. Uh, we've not raced C-Class before, well, we've raced it once, and that was cross-country, which is a very, very different sort of discipline for the cars, uh, so kind of not really relevant at all for what we're doing with this. Uh, now, this is going to be multi-surface, we're going to have three tarmac, a couple of uh, dirt races in there. Um, Tyres are an interesting one, I'm not sure at all what to do with this one. Uh, I've gone for a Toyota 2000 GT. Uh, vintage race tyres on this, fairly big vintage race tyres as well. Uh, downside of it is I don't have much power, only about 170 horsepower. Okay, the car's not crazy heavy, but it might be a little bit gutless down the straights. Although, C-Class, you don't get it well. I mean, you can get a lot of power in C-Class, sure, but your car's going to be near undrivable. This will be quick in the corners. I would expect it to be good on the tarmac circuits. Uh, I say I expect, I hope it will be good. Might be wrong. <laughs> I, don't, I don't really know. We've got a right mixed bag of uh, cars in this. We've got an Alpine, we've got uh, a 914, there's Monte Carlos, there's big Bentleys, uh, Tarana, there's a couple of big Bentleys, yeah. Um, there's, some muscle car there's some big muscle cars, there's some small sports cars. Who knows what we're going to see from this one. Uh, Ninetales, I'm not sure if Ninetales has gone for the same idea as the Toyota. They did disconnect and only just get reconnected before the race started, so I don't know whether they got dumped in my car. I don't actually know if that's still a thing that can happen in Horizon 5, to be honest. I don't know whether you can use host car, whether they just have the same idea went for the Toyota. Um, who knows? We will find out if the race ever gets going. Game? I would like to race now. I'm not filled with confidence, but I'm hoping... Uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not filled with amazing confidence, but it would be nice if our car was uh, was half decent here. I so, say yeah, we're going to be slow off the line, and we're going to be very quick through the corners. Uh, my theory with this car, okay, the theory I had with this is a momentum car. So, oh god, bumps are horrible out there. Uh, so I'm not going to have a huge amount of top speed, but we're going to be able to carry our speed through the corners quite well. Uh, oh. Can't get stopped there. We're going to get stuck behind a Bentley. Oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> I mean, we were in trouble on our own there. We just got really unlucky that a Bentley also got stuck in trouble. But yeah, so I'm not going to be able to accelerate uh, amazingly well. Oh, we got stuck in everyone else's crash on this one. Uh, okay, well, now we're going to have a little bit of clean air. Now, Monte Carlo left it too late, just wasn't stopping, and uh, got in a little spot of bother there. And again, we've just got in other people's crash. We're definitely not winning here. Whether this track is good for our car or not is going to be a little bit academic because we've had such a bad start here. First gear, not good. Um, anyway, as I was saying before, I got distracted. Yeah, but my hope is I can carry good corner speed with this car. Okay, ultimate top end is going to be a problem, but if we can carry some good speed through these corners, uh, that maybe lack of acceleration might not be too bad. A lot of cars here are running standard tyres. A lot of cars are on weird tyre combinations, in fact. Um, a lot lower compounds than we're used to seeing. So the fact that uh, we are going to have, in theory, quite a lot of grip in this field should be good for us. Um, yeah, by the looks of it, third's not out of the realm of possibility, actually, because that's revs up in third with a bright green car. Uh, so if we can get through this pack, we're definitely not going to go and win this. Uh, but if we can get through this pack, I mean, we carried lots of speed around that final corner. We are the wrong side of Nine Tails on the run down towards turn one, though. So I'm not sure I'm going to be able to do much here. Uh, it's just a train of cars. Oh, Nine Tails hit the inside wall and we get escorted into the outside. <laughs> just, everyone's crash. <laughs> everyone's crash is just killing me. Oh, and now debris is not what I needed the momentum, lack of power mobile. This race, this might be the worst luck I've ever had in a Forza race. Oh, and I'm way too late on the brakes there, that one. I mean, I guess it started of my own doing, because we, well, I mean, we were just a little late on the brakes there. Um, but the downside with this sort of theory of car building is if you get in traffic... Oh, for God's sake! Okay, I don't think I can... I don't think I can use this circuit. Not for these sort of races anyway, not for low class. Because that is legit ridiculous. I come around a corner and because the cars ahead are battling one another, they knock over a lamppost and it completely 
completely destroys any chance I have of accelerating. Like, that ruins a good two seconds, maybe not quite two seconds, but it ruins a good amount of time, lap time from my car, because they've knocked over. That's ridiculous. Look, I get it. Okay, open world games and all that. Sure, have street furniture in free roam. But when I'm racing around a circuit like this, I want to actually be able to race, because that's impossible to avoid. It's not even like, again, I haven't hit it. It's not even like me hitting it has slowed it down. Other cars have hit it. Uh, yeah, it, it's, it's always the, the danger of these type of cars, uh, is that if you do get stuck in, in traffic, uh, you can have problems like that. Uh, it's one thing, though, to be stuck in traffic against other cars. It's another thing when it's random bits of debris that are completely ruining your day. And we might be able to get a lap try, get a lap together and see if... Uh, I don't think we're, we're not going to be able to get a lap together while we've got cars in front of us. I mean, fourth isn't actually out of the realms of possibility here. I don't know whether we would have had the pace to go and chase after Dragon and that I think it's Camaro uh, Dragon's driving up there. Uh, okay, earlier on the brakes down here. We'll do nicely. Dino's going to run wide. I will say thank you very much for that position. Uh, I'm going to try and avoid. I'm going to try and avoid the debris as best I can. But if a lamp post is across the road, there really is very little that I can do here. It's going to be this one again. Uh, that time it didn't feel like it slowed us down as much as some of these have. The big Bentley is uh, trying to hold on to that fourth place. Nine tails doesn't seem to be enjoying. If that is my 2000 GT, they don't seem to be enjoying it very much. Uh, if it's theirs, doesn't seem to be working very well. Uh, the Dats didn't try to have a go, and it didn't work. I still, second gear is, my gearing's not right for that corner. It doesn't seem too bad elsewhere, but that hairpin is really in between first and second. Uh, the Bentley's about to lose out to the Datsun, or to one of the two Toyotas, I think, because we've got a lot more pace here. We haven't got the straight line speed. Dino's trying to get involved. Uh, do we have a look to the inside through here of Ninetales? No, the Dino's going to have a look. Uh, a little bit of a uh, bump on that one. The Dino's going to hit the wall and lose out. Uh, we will just carry the momentum off the corner. We might, if we're lucky here, keep up the momentum and we will be around the outside of Nine Tails here, but it's the inside for the final corner. That's what we want, basically, uh, which we can do. And we will be maybe past Nine Tails. We're hopefully going to get a run on the Datsun that's moved across. It's three wide down towards the first corner. The Toyotas sweep either side of the Datsun. Oh, <laughs> Well, I return the favour to Ninetales that we got on the earlier lap. Un unintentional turned in and it was just not quite got the grip to go. Well, the front end had the grip to go, the back end just let go on me. Uh, we ended up giving Ninetales a little bit of a squeeze unintentionally there uh, towards the wall. Can we pass the Bentley before the end of the race? It's a great race at the front, the top three, um, having their own wonderful little battle. I mean, We've got to get, if we get past the Bentley, we've got to do it in this twisty section. We know it's got power up the hill. We know it's going to struggle around the final corner, though. So, yeah, can we find a way past it while it is really struggling for grip? We might actually just get the move done here, because we can sweep past. And that'll put us up into a fourth place. Leave it in second for that section. We'll get on the power on the exit. Now, are we far enough away? It probably can't be flat through here. Uh, it might be able to just about uh, won't won't like this section particularly but the hill the hill is where we struggle 170 horsepower in my Toyota is not very much horsepower I can tell you that much uh, we are clear though of the Bentley as we head through this next couple of corners second gear will work on the exit there yeah okay we're, we're well clear uh, lap time oh, I'll be curious about the lap time I mean, we had such an awful time of this. We we're so far back that we're never going to catch the top cars. And I mean, even this lap, we have had to deal a little bit with traffic, but it might be a slightly more comparable time. I like my car. The car's not bad to drive at all. That car is not bad to drive whatsoever as we cross the line. Whew. Okay. Let's see what we have got in this. I'm, I'm really hoping it's close, otherwise I might be in trouble. We might be stuck with a battle for four for, for the entirety of the time. But, what do we got? 44-0. Jesus, a 40.9. The others are more, considering we're overtaking cars, plausible, we're within, you know, we can go a few tenths faster and battle the MX-5 and the Tirana. A 40.9, that's insane. That Camaro is very fast. <laughs> we head off-road for our next race, the River Scramble, and I think I spy the MX-5 is running some 
off-road race tyres. So that'll probably win him. <laughs> it was quick at the first circuit. Likely to be pretty strong here. Uh, I don't know about the rest of the cars. This is anyone's guess, really. Uh, I don't know what the relative speeds of the vehicles are going to be. Uh, what the relative yeah, performance is going to be with the with the tyres uh, in terms of standard tyres against my vintage race tyres. I think a lot of cars are on standard or a good chunk are on standard. I don't know if many have gone for for anything different. We're going to find out pretty quick. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't really know where I stand in this field in, in a fair few ways. In the, the last race, certainly in terms of against the top cars, because the first race was so bought from the start, we just got stuck. Um, we got unlucky and, yeah, it was a mess. If the vintage race tyres are decent enough off-road, I mean, we've got big tyres. The Tehran is likely to be good. That has some really big rear tyres. So, yeah, the Tehran is likely to be good in that regard. In, in fours are generally big rear tyres. And the same for that Camaro. We're expecting that to be strong uh, with those tyres uh, on the back of it. The thing that, you know, if the vintage race tyres are better off-road in some ways than the standards, I don't know why they would be, but if they are, uh, then we might be in... You know, in, in quite well. We won't catch the IX-5 and no one's got any grip. <laughs> Understeer Central through there. I don't think I'm much different to them in terms of their grip. And of course, the bit that sucks for me is we have no power. Uh, the 170 horsepower is not going to be good on this hill. We could go down the other side. We can get a little bit of gravity assistance. I mean, my car's much light. Actually, my car's probably not that much lighter than the Tirana. It's two and a half thousand pounds, the Toyota. And the Tirana is incredibly light. It's why it's so strong in general terms uh, on Forza games. It's been a very, very good option because you've got big rear tyres. You've got muscle car, V8, uh, good amounts of torque and power. And it's actually very, very light, all things considered. Uh, oh, Dino has given Gliska a little bit of trouble here. I'm going to try and find there's a gap. <laughs> <laughs> That's the sneakiest overtake. <laughs> Toronto's going to get me again. And to be fair, Glisco ended up pushed a little bit wide. But uh, Glisco will pass us here. However, that was a wonderfully glorious sneaky pass I got there. I'm pleased, I'm pleased with the overtake. However, we can carry a lot more quarter speed than the Holden. Just to be expected, uh, is the Toronto going to feel the need to defend? Uh, not really. We might actually just go straight around the outside of it. Here we do. Park it on the apex. Um, and I will take fifth place back again from the Holden. Uh, the Camaro leads the way from the MX-5 from... I think it happens in the 914. I wonder if that's on some funky tyres to make it work. Uh, possibly around here, because it was nowhere in that first race, so who knows what it's got going on now. Uh, I guess we will find maybe in the podium screen. Oh! <laughs> We're going to try to get underneath. It's still looking there for a way past. Nine Tails is having a bit better time this one uh, with the Toyota in front of us. Uh, here comes the Dino. Oh, we're about to get swamped. My lack of power is going to be our undoing again. And Glisk is around the outside. We are side by side over the crest here. Uh, I mean, we might not be fighting for the lead, but it is a fun battle we have going on uh, between us three at least. So yeah, they've got more power than me, but I am considerably better in these corners. And even on the dirt, we are a little bit better than the pair of them. Uh, oh, God. Not quite going to make that one work. We are going to get the Dino here, though, I think. Uh, yeah, we will get that pass completed. We're not quite going to be able to do the same sneaky pass, although we can still carry good speed. Not quite enough. And then the Tirana is just going to pull. If Gliska fights with nine tails, that could work in our favour. They could slow each other down and bring us back towards uh, that sort of fight. I think that's kind of what I'm looking at here, really. I'm not massive. I'm not miles off. Uh, the Holden, but we are a little bit slower than it. Uh, it's just the power. It's just, it's just the power. I mean, that's, you know, I say that's fine. I knew that was going to be the difficulty with this. My hope was there'd be some sneaky, weird advantage with my vintage race tyres, and there isn't. Um, the, 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 the performance is as expected, basically. Um, this track is it's a relatively fast circuit. Oh, the water there sucks. <laughs> When you're in the lightweight, low-powered car, the water there sucks. Uh, Gliska, try again. Very similar to last lap around for Gliska there, is having a look to the inside of a Toyota but can't quite get the front end to cooperate. I suspect Gliska might just fly past in this one up the hill. The MX-5 has got to the lead of the race. We were not surprised by that uh, with those off-road race tyres and it being fairly competitive in the uh, first race. Can we go charging down the hill? I mean, can they fight each other? 
Ninetales can get back past again, which might be the case into this twisty section. I don't really know if I want fourth gear in this car. I kind of feel like it's not really going to help much. Yeah, if Ninetales can find a way back past again and just slow down the biscuit, that would be wonderful. The big purple Tirana is struggling a little bit through here. Uh, Ninetales is to the inside as we get onto the tarmac. I mean, they've slowed each other down a little bit. The Dino's still there. Like, we're still aware very much of the Dino's presence. I think Glisk is going to be clear now. Um, might be come down to whether I can catch Ninetales. I don't know what's... I mean, our cars seem quite similar in some ways. Uh, so I don't know what... Uh, what Ninetales has got going on with that one. Uh, he's definitely got good grip. I wonder if it is a vintage race tyre. I mean, it could still be mine. <laughs> Ninetales might have ended up... Uh, Borrowing mine, uh, if that is a thing still, because yeah, they do seem fairly similarly built. Uh, where are we going to find a way past? If we're going to find a way past, uh, it's going to be to maybe to the inside here. If we get it stopped and turned in, because we're struggling to make the corner, Nine Tails is out wide and hits the wall. We will scythe up the inside. The problem is, we are a little bit quicker to that corner than the Tirana, but he just got the power up the hill. But uh, I do not have. <laughs> Neither of the Toyotas do. I mean, the Dino does a little bit, but the Dino can't live with the grip. Uh, here come... You see, Nitel... Nitel's just got a really good run up here. So I don't think it is my car, because I don't know why it would have a lot more speed than me over the hill. Uh, I don't know what would have done differently. Maybe you got... Maybe Nitel's has smaller tyres, but more power. That might be a way to go with it. Oh. Yeah, that could explain the handling differences. Uh, while still being similar... Could explain it. Come on. Come on. Find some grip. Catapult the car onto the road. It's close. The Dinos, actually. If we fight each other too much, the Ferrari might join in this battle. Uh, now we're on the tarmac. Oh, we're better. We're better kind of initial acceleration. Nitels is better almost on the dirt top here. I don't know why that would be the case up that hill. Nitels realised we were there, uh, which is fair enough, really. Uh, we're trying. If we can keep our car to the inside here... Uh, it will be a good pass if we make it stick. There's space on the outside for for uh, another Toyota there, and we do get that pass to work. Uh, and we are through, but Ninetales is going to cut back to the inside here. Now, we know... I mean, everyone struggles with this corner up here. We know Ninetales' car has been a bit of a handful, although most vehicles have been. If we can get this braking point right, uh, which we do, although it's, 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 the braking point is fine, it's the getting on the power point, almost, um, that everyone struggles with in that, that part. We have kept our car ahead. Now, what do we do here? Actually, Nitales has struggled. That sort of tap on the back of me has given them a little bit of a problem. I feel like we've got to defend here. Although Nitales has got company. The Dino's right involved. That might be my saving grace. If uh, Nitales can't get free... Maybe we do want fourth down there, actually. If I left it in third, that might be... In. Maybe that's maybe that's the problem last... I don't even remember what I did last lap around. Um, yeah. I don't think that's the way to go. Yeah, the Tirana's almost within range. It's not quite. Uh, it's not that much faster. It's just a little bit faster. Oh, we're all out of shape down here. Um, it's been a decent enough final lap from me. And we are going to see off the threat from behind. That was a fun race. I enjoyed that one. Yeah, it's not for the front. Not for the top places. Okay. Perhaps never likely to go the way with this car. Oh, we're so far down on the MX-5. Uh, <laughs> But we had a wonderful battle over sort of the 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th place. Yeah, it, was, it was good fun. That is the bit that matters, really. We head on to our next race. I'm hoping... Oh, we're down the back again. <laughs> hoping for a little bit of a better... I say a little bit of a better time. We'll see how it goes. Um, this track should work to my car. Strengths... It might still struggle for top speed. Uh, I, th I think... I feel like I can almost ignore the Camaro. If that is as fast around here as I'm expecting it to be, um, considering how quick it was at the first circuit, I can't match that. Uh, it will be interesting to see how... So, Zipper's MX-5, that's on off-road race tyres, which is very quick on the dirt. Uh, Leopard's Porsche is also on the off-road race tyres, which is why that was very quick on the uh, uh, dirt circuit. be interesting to see if I can do much about them. The Toronto I'm likely to be close with. Um, this is a bit more of a handling circuit. From, from what we've seen so far. I mean, there are still some straights, uh, but yeah, in general, this is a little bit more of a, of a handling track. If we can get a good start, uh, if we can not get in everyone else's fight, that's the only problem. Like, lap time-wise, maybe we can do it. 
However, if we get stuck in everyone else's fight again and not be able to use our momentum, essentially, that may be our undoing. But we will see. We will see how it goes here. I can do my best and, yeah, see how it all pans out, really. We're going to have to try and find gaps where there are not very many gaps. It's four wide. It was ambitious there. <laughs> If I could have done, I really needed for that pass to come off. The problem was is that I was going to the inside. I mean, Gliska was on the outside. I think it was almost five wide at one point. Uh, it was That was incredibly ambitious to try and make that one work. I knew I had to. It was a gamble in going for that. Um, I backed out of it in time, basically. Uh, yeah, well, not, not much more I could have done on that one. We're going to run and not quite get underneath Ninetales. I hope Ninetales are going to understeer a little bit more. So this is the problem. We, me and Ninetales can both be really quick through there, but can't with the Camaro and Tirana in the way. And we're going to carry good speed down towards the first corner, but Ninetales will cover the inside. Can I cut back underneath? Take a wide? No, not quite got that one right. I was going for like a wide on the way in and then cut back underneath for the mid corner. And Ninetales is now doing it to the Camaro and the Tirana, but they're all going to get a little bit boxed in. Uh, and we're going to get stuck. The MX-5, okay, the MX-5 is damn fast around here. Uh, that's got some, some serious some serious speed, some serious grip. Uh, the Bentley is a little bit in the way again. Me and Ninetales are trying to do oh, a similar thing here. Yeah, we're going to get... I, I, the annoying thing is I really like this car, and it has got serious pace, but the pace only works on its own. Definitely not with a bloody Bentley getting in the way. You know what? No, I'm not gonna. <laughs> I'm not gonna play nicely. Uh, if you almost put me out of a checkpoint, we will be gone by the time we get to this final corner because we're gonna carry so much speed through here that nothing else can. Um, but yeah, can we be flat? I don't know if we can actually be flat. It's definitely gonna be very close to being flat. Uh, right. Okay. Can we get a second here? This is. This is what the. This is what it boils down to. Can the Toyota... I, mean, I think so, because seeing how much we have closed in through this first section, the Toyota is a monster through there. It's just going to run out of power, though, as we head down here. Can't do anything about that. Oh, wanted to make, oh God, yeah, I've got so much mid-quarter speed that I don't, even, I don't want to end up in the back of these cars, but we've just got so much mid-quarter pace. But we're stuck now. He's like, what can I do? I can't cut back underneath somebody because I'll never get the drive on the exit. It does help me that they're fighting each other. So they're actually taking away their own lines a little bit. And we're going to, again, get to the inside of the Camaro. Say hello. <laughs> Not going to pass it, but we're there again. Um, okay. I, yeah, we're not going to get a clean lap to find out what speed we're doing in comparison to the Mazda. I think the Mazda's probably far. I don't know, actually, because we're so quick through here, but I just can't use that. Um... That time, actually, at that time, the two ahead weren't too bad. But, like, how can I pass here when they're going side by side? My best bet is going to be what I tried to do last lap around and it almost worked is going to be turn underneath here, get both of them. Oh, I've got to diagonal it a little bit to get the checkpoint. Yeah, I've got... That's the only way I get them, I think, because they're going to outrun me here, but we can hold the inside through this section. Oh, too much speed, though, on too tight a line. They're going to have a better line up here. Keep up momentum, little 2000 GT. Oh, we're in a world of pain here. The Tirana has got the inside. I have to yield that. Didn't get across in time. Uh, we are going to be stuck out wide here against the Tirana that's struggling for grip. And they both steam train me, which they do. Oh, this has been a wonderful race. But, oh, they both got me again. I mean, Leopard and Ninetales aren't that far away if we all fall over one another here. But, uh... Now it's Dragons to the inside with the Camaro. I'm going to absolutely fly through there, but i got a lift because i got nowhere to go with all of my speed. Still got nowhere to go with all of my speed. We're <laughs> still looking and looking and looking. Nowhere. We're going to have to do the same manoeuvre. If we're going to get this pass done, it's going to have to be... Oh, they're wise to it. There's, they're definitely wise to it. They've blocked the inside and i got nowhere. Ah, oh, I can't do it now, I don't think. Yeah, they, there's just too much metal between between me and the clean bit of air that I need uh, to make anything stick. Because again, I've carried amazing speed there, but I got nowhere nowhere to use it. Uh, can we dive to the inside? Oh, we're gonna get a little bit. I mean, I'm not. 
yeah, uh, <laughs> it was already ambitious in terms of the numbers we had going on at that point. Um, and I got nothing to really give through here. Ninetales is also a, a little bit stuck in this one. I mean, my, okay, the last chance I have is I've just got to be flat. I'm going to be flat all the way through here. I'm going to be flat all the way through the final corner and hope someone gets in trouble because uh, we're just going to chuck it through there but we're just gonna it's gonna be too little too late that was an amazing race it's it's a little frustrating because i would love to know how fast that car could have gone i'd love to have known how fast that car could have gone and we just never got into into clean air um we just got stuck fighting and yeah it's difficult to pass um i'm not gonna do a 102 uh, i think we can forget that i do think yeah like, yeah like a 105 zero is definitely definitely possible with that God dear, though. That, was, <laughs> that was a great race. Gutted I didn't get on the podium, but uh, yeah, that was a lot of fun. We're back off-road for the next race. I don't know what we're going to be actually like around here. I mean, okay, so the MX-5 is going to go off a win. <laughs> the Porsche is also going to be quite quick. Uh, the Camaro will probably work. The Tirana might work uh, a little bit here. I think we're going to be in the battle with probably Ninetales and the Dino would be my guess. You never know with this sort of stuff. Um, you know, maybe it'll turn out the Toyota's really good at this track. Um, for whatever reason. Maybe we can fight the Tirana. Uh, I, I think this, this circuit and it's pure dirt there is absolutely no tarmac for me to make time up on and while we're probably a little bit better in the corners than the muscle cars just their huge tires will give them the traction out of the corners that's that's i think what makes the big difference in the mx5 we can ignore that car that, that is pretty much irrelevant in this race to us uh, we know it's going to have a ton more grip and is going to outturn and outrun the lot of us it's races with the porsche in this uh, we can carry good speed through some of these corners and these banked corners are working quite nicely for us oh the water's going to hurt a lot uh, the water's really going to hurt a lot in this uh, I'm hoping we can go around the top here uh, and pass the Bentley we're going to use that momentum which we do uh, we will pass the Bentley uh, on that sort of momentum overtake uh, and then yeah if we can get past the oh Dino it's sliding and sliding and sliding there's almost a gap there, not quite. There's an Alpine that I've got to be a little bit wary of. Um, come on. Come on, Toyota, find some grip on this wide line. It might just make it work. It does. The Alpine's too far back, although it's made it work, but we know the Dino's got good straight line speed uh, in relative, you know, relative to us, so we're out wide here. That's not going to work. Um, I, I gave it a little bit of leeway as well because I know it's bumpy down there, so I was just going to figure out what the Dino was going to be like in that section. Uh, we're through turn one, and again can carry good speed, but nowhere to go with it. And the Ferrari's always going to outrun us here. Do We should turn in better down here, uh, possibly. The two muscle cars are oh, going... Well, I mean, we're taking basically the same line. I definitely think we turn better than the Tirana. That does seem to struggle here. Uh, more, even more so than the Camaro in this this section. The Tirana does seem to be a little bit of a handful. Uh, me and the Dino are on completely different lines at the moment. I'm trying to do anything to find a way past. I feel like maybe I could have done with the gearbox upgrade in this. Uh, I, was, I, I was running out of PI. I was looking for any way I could save something. And I haven't got a uh, changed gearbox. The Dino had a big oversteer kick mid-corner. And that'll be a thank you very much. <laughs> Uh, yeah, not what you want. Get that sort of snappy oversteer uh, around there. Oh, Gliska, did Gliska hit the wall? Maybe through that section. So the Tirana's not got the grip of that Camaro. The Camaro is better on the dirt. Whether that's... I think the Camaro maybe have bigger tyres, possibly? Uh, I know they're on the same compound of tyre. Second gear out of that final corner. Really need to remember that. Okay, can we chase down that Holden? That is the question. Uh, Ninetales has not had a great time around here. I, expect, I was, I say, okay, I say slight surprise, I was expecting that car to uh, work a little bit better around this track, but apparently not. Uh, right, let's chuck the car into turn one. I've got to say, I'm actually, I am impressed with this toy. I'm pleased with how this, this toy has worked out. 
It's not been the very fastest car. Uh, however, I've liked it. And I've liked it. It's, it's not been the very quickest, but it definitely has been competitive. We've been a little bit unlucky with uh, some of our sort of starting positions and all that. But I can't, I say, I can't fault it. It was, i say, a little bit of a gamble going for this. The tyre combination and everything. It was a little bit of an unknown. And I've not had much luck building 2000 GTs before. This is by far and away the best I've ever built a 2000 GT. I can definitely say that. Uh, I'm aiming for the narrowest bit of water there. Uh, yeah, definitely the most competitive I've ever, ever had one of these cars. My, myself, you know, I'm sure other people have got these working really well. But uh, for, for me, I've never had much luck. This is wonderful. <laughs> I'm, re I'm really pleased with it. I mean, it is definitely out of its comfort zone out here. Uh, but... We're, we're matching the Tirana. Come on, find the, find that traction. It's better in this half. I'm really I'm surprised that that is not what I expected to see. Um, the the Toyota, it's just finding grip there. That I did not. And the Tirana said big rear tires. It's on stock compound tires, which may be a little better off road. And by the by, from what we're seeing here, it looks like it's pretty similar between vintage race and stock tyres in terms of their off-road performance. The Camaro is definitely better than both of us, uh, through whatever magic. Uh, I don't know what... <laughs> Camaro is stock as well, so I don't know what that is. That's just very quick. Uh, it must be... It must just be that that has even bigger tyres than the Tirana and my Toyota. Uh, this is where... That, yeah, the Tirana just can't get the power down. We're going to turn underneath it here, and not be slightly... Okay, we turn into it slightly. <laughs> Sorry, Kliska. Uh, I wasn't trying to slide up into you, we are trying to do, which is again what we're doing here, trying to dive down underneath, because the front end is better in my car. Uh, what can we do? I mean, the problem is, is if we do get past, we might just lose out on the drag race towards the finish line. Don't know if I wanted second there, not really. It's going to come down to the hairpin. I've looked. We've looked for a way past. However, we have not been able to find it here. We're out a little bit wide as well. We'll go for fourth. It'll be quickly down to second, though. Unless Gliss gets things wrong big time in this hairpin. Uh, we're going for a completely different line through there to Gliska. Uh, I actually messed up. The line I was going for, I messed up through there myself. So we ended up a little bit wide. God damn it. Very similar performance between us two. A uh, little bit of a messy final lap by me. We just caught and then... Didn't quite get in the right places to do the right sort of overtakes. Um, yeah. Ah. It was another one. It was another one of sitting at the back of a muscle car. No, we, we, we only really had one lap to get a pass done and we weren't quite in the right place. And then, yeah, a little too far back. I, again, I'm pleased. I'm very pleased with that car. Uh, <laughs> can't match the top two. The MX-5 is blisteringly quick. The Porsche and, you know, the only other one on off-road race tyres. Uh, a fairly solid second. The Camaro... Yeah, too quick for me, definitely. But, again, another really good race. After a good five minutes of loading, I don't know why it's taken so long to load this race. Uh, we are in for the final round. That's why everyone's disconnected. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, final race, the Astadia circuit. Um, I... I don't think my car's quite going to work as well here. I think we're going to see... Possibly the MX-5 bugger off again around this track. Uh, is the, the MX-5 is still in. Yep. Uh, I don't think... We will be quick in places. I don't think we're going to be as far down on the Tirana and, and the Camaro in terms of lap time uh, as we could be, but I, I just... I think the straights are going to murder us a little bit. I don't think we're going to be sort of sat on the bumper looking for a way past. I could be wrong, though. I mean, I hope I'm wrong, of course. We will have to wait and see on this. We are going to be very quick in some places, like this first section here, for example. We'll be quick through this. And we've got to try and make the most of it while everyone is in ghost mode, if we can. Uh, we're going to pop out of ghost mode in an awkward place. We're kind of inside the Camaro at the moment. The Dinos run wide. Me and the Porsche are still stuck together. Uh, who knows where everyone's going to ping out of it. There we go. We should all now be free of ghost mode. The MX-5 is behind us. I mean, that will have great top end, or have better top end than I do. It's just waiting for a moment to get past them. Dino had a wobble. I don't know if it knew I was there. Uh, how fast can we be through here? Can we be flat through this one? Gliska's in trouble out there with the Holden. It's going to end up causing me grief. Oh, <laughs> we were committed to that one. 
I mean, Grisky was trying to get back on the track, and that is absolutely fair enough. We were committed to that line. Uh, we're going to go around the outside of the Camaro here, which will be the inside for the next corner. It'll be us past. We will leave the race, but we are going to get slaughtered down towards turn one. That's okay. Uh, nothing I can do about it. Um, in fact, we're not even that's not even technically the final corner because the start line's a little further down. We'll get slaughtered all the way down here, and then we'll make all the time back up again. Um, yeah, who knows? We'll see how this goes. We're going to break a lot later, of course, than that Camaro uh, does into... I don't know whether you'd call that turn one. It's certainly the first real braking zone of the circuit. Uh, that is a little janky by me. Through there, can definitely carry more speed than I did that time around. Uh, so, yeah, again, we're going to hurt all the way down this hill. Can't can't do anything about that. But we are going to be very quick through the chicane. I fear, even if we pass the Camaro, you know, we'll pass it at the chicane, we're then going to... I say if we pass it at the chicane, we don't pass it at the chicane, we pass it into the next corner. We're then just always going to get beaten to the start-finish line. The MX-5 is not going as quick around here as I thought it would be. Oh, something's gone wrong with dragons. Don't know what happened there for the Camaro. It looked like it got caught up on the sort of street furniture and ended up out wide, just bobbling around on the curbs. I mean, okay, it's been very fortuitous for me, but uh, it's still not going to matter. It's still not going to be enough. I mean, we're going to be closer in turn one. The thing is, what can I do about that Camaro? The Tirana's coming to join as well. So I'm going to have to be perfect to stop the Tirana from passing me. And it is difficult to be perfect uh, when a lot of my speed will potentially be hampered. Uh, I think Camaro's far enough away. That is something that is kind of... The, I think... I think my battle is more with the Tirana, sadly, than it is with the Chevy. I just don't think I can live with the with the pace here we're not that we're not a million miles away we're not a million miles away at all with this car and I, I, I like that I've gone this way uh, I'm enjoying this car I'm all out of shape through here on my own my own volition that time around yeah I mean, this is gonna be a lot slower through there that that is the corner really where we make an absolute killing in terms of lap time we do through here as well uh, you can just see how much speed we can how much ground we can make, but it's irrelevant. Because it's, well, it's irrelevant. It's not irrelevant. That's where our lap time comes, because we sat on the bumper, and then we're gone again. Uh, I wonder if the MX-5 was playing silly games and is now actually coming to race proper, because uh, it is up into fourth again. Uh, or whether, uh, whether that is the genuine pace of the car, I'm not sure. I'm surprised. If it is struggling at this circuit, I'm surprised. I guess maybe the off-road race tyres, it's just, with these kind of corners like this, it's just not able to carry the speed. I, I am surprised if that is the case, but... Not impossible, I guess. I've made a real hash of this section. That's really bad news for me, because now we're not going to be as far away from the Holden, potentially. Yeah, ah, uh, I say it, it's a shame. The, the, car's, the car's quick. The car's... I say, the Toyota is good here. It is... Uh, sorry, my phone is just going mad in the background. I don't know what's going on. I apologise. Phone, be quiet! I'm trying to concentrate! Um, either somebody is... Uh, phone! I should have put you on silent. I know I should have done. I'll chuck you across the room in a minute. I've only got a lap to go. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to look at my phone to find. Uh, it is going absolutely berserk. Um, I don't have anything soft I can throw my phone at to make it be quiet. Uh, can I silence it while I'm on a straight? I don't know. Um, there we go. Uh, oh, right. <laughs> I figured out why my phone's going mad. If you are watching, I'm just going to date this video. I say date this video a little bit. <laughs> so, I did a poll today. Um, about... Uh, oh, no, I've had, a, I've had an issue. I've beansed it up. I am going to blame Carly for this one, because that is who was spamming my phone. There was a discussion about whether carrot cake or Jaffa cakes were better. And I put a poll in Jaffa cakes are winning. And um, she is not best pleased about this particular outcome, and it's just spamming my phone saying Jaffa Cakes suck. <laughs> Nothing like a little bit of random dis It's normally Distracto Cat. That's normally what gets me in these races. It is different this time around. Uh, I don't... Oh, I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble because I was on the curb through there. Uh, we're not going to be able to do this. We're actually going to lose out on a podium a little bit here. Um, 
I say that, actually, can we? We'd have to be really brave here and just send it. Which we have done. We're going to send it, but it's going to not matter because we're just not going to get far enough away. No. Ah, turn one, I was just messed up. No. <laughs> Oh dear, I have I have beat. No, uh, not gonna be able to do it. Nah, that that should have been that should have been a second for me on that one. Um, uh, yeah, absolutely should have been a second place. I I. Ah, <laughs> uh, I like that car. I really like. It. I goofed it to one. I just just messed up. Um, interesting. Night was very similar lap time to me. Yeah. Uh. I do like that vehicle. It's a, I say it's a different build. It is kind of the... Uh, that, that is sort of the ultimate momentum build. I got a little bit... I got. A, it, it could have got way better results. There was a load of bad luck and a little bit of bad driving from me uh, at the tracks where it could have worked at. Um, but I do like that. That works a lot better than I thought. I was worried it was going to be just underpowered. And while it is slow down the straights... You know, the, the right scenario, it could still be very competitive. Um, and I'm, I'm pleased I went with this car at the end of the day. Uh, I, am, I, am pleased, I am pleased I went with this car. It, it put up a really, really good fight. And yeah, I, I really enjoyed driving it. I enjoyed driving it. I went a different route to everybody else. Um, we had the powerful muscle cars on stock tyres. We had off-road race tyres. Um, I think if Nightales loads in... Uh, Nine Tails will swap the cars out anyway, so I'm not going to know. I think I was certainly... I think Nine Tails might be the only other one that went the vintage race tyre route. And it, it was it was good. It, it, was a, it was a route that worked, shall we say, for C-Class. But there we go. That is going to be it for this video. Thank you all very much for watching. And until next time, a goodbye. <laughs>